Hey buddy, how you doing? The news today is that Brett Favre is retiring. It's hard to believe for a couple of reasons. Favre had such a great season last year, maybe the best year of his career. The Vikings have a really solid team, good chance to win the Super Bowl, and the most obvious, Favre has pulled this, I'm retiring, no wait, I'm not gonna retire deal in the past. You know, it was just last season that Favre said he was gonna retire. The next thing you knew, Brad Childress was picking him up at the airport. So it's reasonable to be skeptical that Favre is actually retiring. But if he does, you gotta second guess the Vikings for not going after McNabb, right? Donovan McNabb wanted to play for Minnesota. Minnesota could have gone after him, but they said Favre's our guy, which I can't blame them completely, but it was a gamble. They put all their eggs in the Favre basket, and if he retires, man, you're talking about snake eyes. That's a big time downgrade from Favre to either Tavares Jackson or Sage Rosenfels. They're not gonna have a chance to win the Super Bowl. They're not. Not just because Favre is much better than Sage and Tavares put together, but because it's gonna be so hard for Minnesota to move on from Favre. If Favre retires, every loss at the beginning of the season, they're gonna get asked questions about Favre possibly coming back or not. If they lay an egg against the Saints in week one, you know how many questions they're gonna receive about Favre maybe coming back? Hey, could he come back by midseason? Is there any chance he comes back this year? It's gonna be so hard for them to move on from Favre when they're constantly being reminded of Favre, right? So it's gonna be a tough deal for the Vikings. There's still time, it's only August 3rd, Favre could change his mind and play football, but if he doesn't, it's gonna be a rough, rough transition for the Vikings this year. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer.